So in the previous video we created our first program and uh, even though it was a simple program you should celebrate because uh, you created your first program but if you want to make your program to do something useful you need to store data and in order to store data we need to use variables and this is what we're gonna talk about in this video therefore I'm gonna open IntelliJ IDE I'm gonna create a new project, so make sure to, that on the left hand side you have project selected. Click on uh, this plus button to create a new project. I'm gonna call it variables. It should be in Pascal case if it has multiple words. Language we have already Kotlin selected for the build system IntelliJ. And also make sure to have the JDK selected here. And now I'm gonna check this add sample code because this is gonna generate the code that we typed previously, respectively the main function and the print line to and the hello world. Text is gonna be now auto-generated for us by because we check this uh, box add sample code and it's gonna add the code automatically for us. So I'm gonna click on create. Now our uh, project is ready to go and uh, as you can see here it generated some code for us and this is similar to what we did in the previous video where we created our, we created our code uh, ourselves but we have some additional code and uh, I'm gonna delete this additional code because it will make things confusing so I'm gonna delete this part sorry I'm gonna delete this part and also uh, you have, may, may have noticed that uh, here in uh, inside this parenthesis we, now we have this args array and string we can delete this too because uh, it will uh, make thing, things confusing and we're going to talk about uh, what are uh, arrays and all of that in the next videos now I'm gonna all right now we're ready now let's uh, run this code to see to see what is happening. It's gonna output uh, that text like uh, it did in the previous video. You should open the console in a short moment. And indeed it opened the console and it output the text hello world like it did in the previous video. So I'm gonna close the console now. Also let's expand this SRC to see the file that it was created automatically for us uh, this time and um, let's change this hello world text to print uh, another text let's say let's print uh, type your name there in my case it's Alex so I'm gonna run this code and it will output uh, my name in the console alright so it uh, output it hello Alex like uh, we typed here but um, it's uh, what we have here is pretty pretty inflexible it will a better way to be to to do that it, it will be to have something to store this name and then refer that uh, that thing here to call that thing here in this way to be uh, a bit more uh, more dyna dynamic and uh, to do that we need to use uh, variables and variables are uh, are like some uh, containers which can hold data values and uh, let's see how to create a variable okay let's uh, put the 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 code below above our print uh, ln statement and uh, if you don't know what a statement is a statement is a complete uh, instruction of execution now to create a variable we just type the keyword var which stands for variable all right next we need to give a name to our very vari variable to be able to refer it later to call it later and I'm gonna earn the naming convention around the naming uh, variable is called is called camel case and that means that uh, the first uh, letter 
in the name if it has multiple words so start with a, with a lowercase letter so I'm gonna type user and the next uh, word name with a capital letter all right next we need to provide the type of the variable what, and that means what kind of data this variable is gonna hold is gonna store to do that we need to put colon and next we need to say what type of data is gonna store what what uh, data is gonna store and uh, we want to store text and um, to store text we need to type here string and string means that this variable is gonna store uh, a, sequ a sequence of characters or text now we need to assign a value to this variable and to do that we put we put here equals space and uh, because we explicitly said here that we're gonna, we're gonna put text, text or string we put a double pair of quotation marks and, go, and we type Alex all right so now we create our variable we give it a name a type and uh, with, we've also assigned a value to this variable next we need to refer this variable down here um, and to 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 refer the, that variable I'm gonna delete this text first and to refer the variable we put dollar sign and after the dollar sign we start typing the name of the, the variable user and as I'm typing the IntelliJ is giving us some suggestions and it said do you mean this username um, variable and it also has this V here for variable so I'm gonna press enter to fill in that for me and if I uh, run this code you'll see the exact uh, thing uh, happening here it outputted the text uh, hello Alex but this time we didn't type the text directly here we, we, we store that text in a variable and we call that variable in, uh, in our uh, println I'm gonna add a space here to make things more clear now what we can do is to change the value of this variable by uh, adding uh, below of our variable typing the name of the variable again user name equals and, and now we can assign a new value to this variable and uh, let's put let's put John here All right let's run this code to see what it happens now now this time when this uh, this instruction is going to be called it's going to print the, the new value of the variable which is John so as you can see down here it outputted the text hello John so we can change the value of the variable after we assign uh, a value to it but what you can't do is to is to type here username equals 5 and uh, if you hover over here it says integer literal does not conform to the aesthetic type string and in other words it's saying that we said explicitly, explicitly up here that it's gonna store only text and uh, down here we try to put um, a whole number an integer and that is not gonna work because Kotlin is a uh, language which is uh, which is called statically typed and that means that it, it, it will check the types of the variable at compile time not at run time and that means it that it, you, you cannot uh, run your code if you assign uh, a value to to a variable which has a different type that than the than the type uh, that you specify specified when you declare the variable this is why you get this warning here and if i delete this now let's delete this all right okay the next type of variable that uh, also actually not the, ne the next type the, ver ver the next way of declaring a variable is using the keyword val so if you declare if you declare a variable as val val means that we cannot change its value after we assign uh, a value to it so if you try if you try to assign a new value to our variable like we did here up here it will not work so uh, let's actually let's actually just uh, change here let's put val okay and 
And after I did that, you, you, it immediately underlined in red username and it says val cannot be reassigned. And that is because if you declare, if you declare a variable as val, you cannot change its value later. It will, uh, you can put a, va a value to that variable only once and uh, that's all. You cannot change the, vari the, the value of the va variable la uh, later. So let's ch change this back to var to have the ability to change the value. Now let's look at another type of variable. So I'm going to type var again. I'm going to call it age. I'm going to put colon to specify a type here. And now we're going to use another type, which is int. And int stands for integer or for whole numbers. Now I need to assign a value to it. I'm going to call, I'm going to put, um, I don't know, 10 or, uh, I don't know, 20, 22. All right. So what we have now is a different type. Up here we have string and that means that we're gonna we're gonna store a sequence of characters and down here we have integers and that means that we can store um, only only numbers only whole numbers and there are different uh, type of numbers which we're gonna look uh, in the next video and if I try here to change this uh, to change this uh, first uh, first let's uh, let's actually let's actually print this uh, Hello Alex, let's type your age is and here you put dollar sign and we call uh, the name of the variable, we type the name of the variable age. So we press enter to fill in that for us. And if you run this code, now it says hello John, your age is 22. So it's now it's using the value the values of this variable in our uh, println, and we can change for uh, the variable also the its value because it's declared as a var, not a val. So we can put here age equals let's say twenty five, and if you run this code, the change is uh, reflected immediately in our code. So now we see hello John, your age is twenty five. What uh, we can't do like in uh, the previous uh, example with the username here we cannot put a string we cannot put here alex because we said explicitly here that this is gonna is gonna hold only integers only whole numbers so i'm gonna delete this let's put it again to 25 and the error error disappeared all right now uh, Let's look um, at what we have here because we have these underlines, this uh, uh, great uh, light out of our types. And every time uh, you see something like this, uh, that means that IntelliJ is trying to say something to you. And if you hover over here, actually, let's hover over, over the type. It's, it says explicitly given type, it's redundant here. And that means that. Uh, it does not need to we we don't not we don't need to say explicitly here that is gonna hold a, a sequence of characters it's gonna hold string because it knows this it can because it Kotlin has something which is called type inference and that means that it can infer the type of the variable by the value we assign to it in our case we assign some text so if I delete the type here. Now it's still working, and if I, uh, as you can see, if I uh, if I put here, if, let's say if I try to put here username, sorry, username equals to three, it's still uh, treated as a string because it infer it it it, it infer the type uh, by the value you assign to it and uh, similarly this uh, this uh, thing uh, applies to to our uh, int type so if i delete this it's still working it's still treating the, it's still treating this as a as an int so if you try to put here age equals to a text i don't know 
again we have this error error in Faravo. It says type mismatch require int and found string, and that means that it's still uh, it's still treating this uh, variable as an int because, as I said, it has something which is called type inference, and it can infer the type of the variable by the value you assign to it. All right, this is uh, our discussion about variables. There are more types of variables and we're going to look at that uh, other types in the next videos and uh, collectively they are called data types okay you can remove this space if you want so i'm going to end this video now and see you in the next video